This blast of winter is apparently uh, good for at least one local business. Uh, the Boston Mill Ski Resort is set to open tomorrow and skiers and snowboarders alike can hit the slopes from 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. And you can also ski there on Christmas Day from 3 to 8 p.m. on Sunday. Oh, it's sister slopes at the nearby Brandywine Ski Resort will open, but next week. Now, Jason Michael is here sitting alongside me, and I'm glad to see you sitting because you've been standing all day long <laughs> and you've been busy. I have been busy. What's Betsy's been busy. Peyton's been busy. All meteorologists across the Buckeye State, the lower 48 have also been busy over the past couple days and also remain busy through the weekend as well. So we appreciate you and all, all the fellow news staff as well as we are getting ourselves through this. Are you still with me, Northeast Ohio? Let's go. You can see a live look, live look outside right now. We got snow on the ground and it is a frozen tundra across northeast Ohio. I ice impacted underneath the snow as well as we're closing out a historic Friday for several locations. We made some record lows across the area, including Erie PA earlier today. This still holds water for us across northeast Ohio with some of these snowfall totals through Sunday. OK, we do have that in asterisk at the top right of your screen where the highest uh, snow totals are still expected over towards the uh, north and east over in our snow belt region. This is where that hot zone is, is, I like to call it, or I should, I should, I should say probably maybe the cold zone. On the higher end of this range is where we're really going to complete this snow event across the area through Christmas morning into the early afternoon. And I think by Monday we just have some flurries blowing about. So we're still expecting some accumula accumulations over the next 24 to 36 hours. And then as the low pools away, we'll allow ourselves to really kind of take a reprieve here. So let's roll the clock forward here and you can find your place on the map and pay attention to the clock at the top right. We still got gusts approaching 35, 40, 50 miles per hour across the region. Through the day for us on Saturday, we will be still having some blowing snows as well as some snow coming down as we are still getting some of those lake effect snow events still happening. 10 a.m. temperatures are still at or around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 degrees, but the wind chill factor will still be a biting sting across the area well below uh, 0 degrees, well below 10 below, and it feels like 15 below and 20 below that carries through to the afternoon. We still have another uh, band that is going to come through tomorrow. Evening models are picking up on and through the night on Saturday. Here's what will still be a major factor for us. The wind is still going to be blowing. The snow is still going to be blowing and the visibility is still going to be significantly lowered as well. At the same time, crews are still going to be out trying to clear things off. And of course, we can expect there still may be some incidences with fires and things and first responders across the area as well. So despite a little bit of clearing coming on in, I think we'll have that uh, Christmas afternoon. It's still not going to be the best conditions to get out and still be moving about across the area because again, one of the major factors is it's still going to be very cold, dangerously cold. This is still going to be my watch zone tonight through the early hours for us tomorrow. Peyton's going to be talking about that tomorrow morning as well. Tomorrow evening, we're going to see how much more snow we get falling down and it's going to be on the ground. We also already have several inches on the ground as well already, and we're still going to be adding to that. So we're going to be watching that area. No longer do we have a blizzard warning in effect. We still have that winter storm warning in effect that will carry us through likely to Sunday along with the wind chill warning that is likely to expire possibly late Saturday night through early Sunday when we see these winds changing as also the wind direction changing mainly a lake effect snow event for some areas at or along the lakes in the Great Lakes region. However, over land, especially in the southern uh, Canadian provinces, it's just mainly a synoptic event for them. That is mainly that storm putting down the snowfall. Temperatures right now versus how it feels. Negative two feels like negative 29, negative 27 for you, Elyria, back over towards where the turnpike closure is. It is extremely cold over there, so we're thinking about the first responders as they're still working on that scene. Future wind chills will really start to improve a wee bit on Saturday, and I really want to emphasize a wee bit. It gets even better on Sunday, but it still feels like uh, 13 degrees in downtown Cleveland around dinner time for you tomorrow and through the evening. We'll lower that just a bit as well. Some added reminders again as we still have snow falling across several locations. Make sure that you are commuting if you have to commute in the in the safest place possible, and also make sure that you're heating heating your home in the safest way possible as well. 
If you want to get out and start doing a little bit of shoveling, once this thing is all done with on Christmas morning, be mindful of these things right here. Overexertion, frostbite, respiratory problems, heart problems, back strains, dehydration, you name it, is still going to wear a lot on our bodies. Wind chills for tomorrow. You can see they're around kickoff time for the Browns. It'll likely feel like negative 10 out there, but there is light at the end of the tunnel. Here's your 10 day outlook. OK, notice temperatures climbing each and every day. We get to near 50 degrees by Thursday, Friday of next week, and I think we're likely going to hang out there taking us through the early days of 2023. So 40s, 50s we will take anything right now to get us out of the uh, tens and single digits. You know, I had such uh, a breath of relief, I guess a sigh of relief 50s next week. Yeah, considering what we're at now. Yeah. Oof, a warm up. We're from the south. This though. is going to be a distant so this memory. Is, this maybe. Is, yeah, hopefully.